What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Good to be back. I just got back in California late last night, and that's why I've been gone a little bit. Um, last video I posted was an interview I did with heavyweight Jonathan Banks. Shout out to Jonathan Banks for doing the interview. Make sure you guys check that out. Subscribe. And a lot is happening in boxing. Lucas Matisse defeated Lamont Peterson. I'm mad I didn't get my prediction out there in time because I had a busy week leading up to my trip um, for work in Florida. So I didn't get it out like I wanted to, but you guys all seen what happened and I predicted Lucas Matisse to win just to, he has devastating punchy power and I've talked about it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more competitive than it was, but nonetheless, uh, the right man won and there's a lot that's happening in the sport of boxing. I'm anxious for the next coming months in the sport. Um, I got some stuff stored and lined up for you guys, so just be on the lookout, subscribe to the channel, make sure you check back in with me, got some cool stuff lined up. Um, I did want to talk about Canelo versus Floyd Mayweather, a lot of people asking me my thoughts on this, I think it's a great fight, I want to see the fight, um, the only problem I have is, with this particular fight, there's a lot of double standards, if you will, a lot of hypocrisy, things that work one way, and... If you have been a subscriber of my channel and paid attention, you'll know that one thing I'm about, and that's equality. I think equality is necessary in a sport like boxing. And with the whole Canelo Floyd Mayweather situation, I don't see a lot of equality. I see a lot of um, one-sidedness where there's a certain rule. In boxing in general, um, I see situations where it only applies to one fighter, or if your favorite fighter is x y and z then that rule doesn't apply to him but it applies to his opponent or his arch enemy or whatever and i'm all about equality so i guys i mean i steer you guys from my honest perspective and one of the things that's troubling with the canelo and, and mayweather fight first of all mayweather has been dominant for 16 17 years so i, I think uh mayweather particularly based on what he's done i think he's in an awkward position where there's not many guys that people have faith that can beat him. So as a result, he's kind of pigeonholed into um, unrealistic, very high standards. So a lot of people complain about Mayweather in the past. They said he's never cleaned out a division except for in the lower weights. And he's at 147. He just beat Guerrero, who was the interim champion. And if he were to fight, let's say, Devin Alexander in September... People will call him a fool or they'll say he's ducking Canelo. So that's a step closer to unifying the division by he already has a belt, um, beat Guerrero. And then if he were to beat Devin Alexander, who also has a belt after defeating Lee Purdy, he kept his belt. That's a step closer to unifying the decision. I don't even know what other belts are out there at 147 that he wouldn't have at that point. But that's not good enough. Unifying a decision is not good enough. So here's where we get into the controversy and the um, double standards. So people complain that Mayweather never cleaned out a division, but if he stays at 147, which is truthfully his more natural weight, then they complain that he's he's ducking Sergio Martinez or Canelo or he's afraid of the guys at 154. But just a few months ago, y'all were saying y'all wanted, not all y'all, but some of y'all were saying that you wanted him to clean out a division. So by fighting Devin Alexander, someone you may or may not think has the tools to beat him, then you'll call him a chicken and say he's ducking everyone else. Um, so I think he's just in a really bad spot. He's going to, the bar is so high. If he fights Pacquiao, for example, if he fights Pacquiao, um, as far as him, let's say he loses, that's the, the only, then obviously they'll be like, oh, he, that's why he was ducking Pacquiao for so many years because Pacquiao beat him. Or let's flip the coin. Let's say he beats Pacquiao convincingly or knocks Pacquiao out. Who knows what happens with the Brandon Rios, so I'm going to deal with the current. Pacquiao just got knocked out in his last fight and lost on the scorecards to Timothy Bradley right before that. His fight before that was Marquez 3, and a lot of people, including myself, thought Marquez beat Pacquiao in that third fight for sure. So if Mayweather at this point beats Pacquiao, a lot of you guys won't give him full credit for it anyway. You'll, you'll say, oh, he should have fought Pacquiao two years ago. This was the diminished version of Pacquiao, so... Some people are still requesting that fight, but if it does happen, it's not going to be as lucrative as it once was. And I don't think if he just completely outclasses or destroys Pacquiao, I don't think he'll get credit for it based on 
how Pacquiao's looked in his most most recent fights. Um, again, the bar is set exceptionally high, and a lot of it's a one way street with a lot of you. So Team Canelo, they basically they basically made recent statements saying Canelo will not move up or down in weight for anybody for any potential opponent. They're not going to 147, and they're not going to 160 at least right now. And he also said this is um, Canelo's coach. He also said that aside from not moving up or down for anyone like Floyd Mayweather Jr. not moving to 147, he said people like Gennady Golovkin or Sergio Martinez, if they want to fight him, then they have to come down to 154. So Canelo being the younger fighter, and this is not a Canelo bashing session. This is all factual information. Canelo being 22, I believe it is, the younger fighter, he's not willing to budge. And don't get me wrong, Canelo has a huge fan base. He looks like he's getting better and better and growing with the sport great but he's not willing to budge from 154 and he's literally fought probably one legitimate ranked 154 pounder and that was austin trout yet he has a fan base and he's had a fan base for quite some time even when he was fighting guys like gomez um he still had a good showing and i mean he still had a fan base so he won't budge from 154 for canel or excuse me for triple g for martinez he's not going to move up to fight them guys and he's not going to move down to fight Mayweather. Mayweather has to come to him. But if you really look at it, first of all, Mayweather's been in the sport 16, 17 years. And is a certified pay-per-view star, just like Pacquiao is, just like Cotto is. Canelo has not had his own pay-per-view where he headlined as of right now. To my knowledge, if I'm wrong, leave a comment and tell me what pay-per-view event Canelo Alvarez has headlined. So, it just doesn't make sense that he calls all the shots, being the 22-year-old he had a great showing against Austin Trout. Again, I said he's getting better and better, it appears. Um, I just don't see why he would call the shots and why he's not willing to budge up or down. Yet, Mayweather has to come to 154 to get respect. Again, if Mayweather fights Canelo, if he doesn't fight him at 154, a lot of people will not give Mayweather credit. So, if Mayweather doesn't fight Canelo at 154, the fight pretty much shouldn't happen. Unless it's at, at a catch weight of like 150 or something that's... Um, kind of in the middle but if it ha happens at 147 and he just completely schools Canelo they're not going to give him credit they're going to be like oh it was a weight drain Canelo and blah 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 Canelo's too big and he had to starve himself to make weight so realistically for this fight if it is to take place it has to take place at 150 or better in my opinion otherwise it's not it's pointless for Mayweather like it's not going to give he's not going to get credit for for defeating him and it's just funny because like I said, Mayweather, when you've been dominant for so long, 16, 17 years, people are just eager to see you lose. So what they do is look at the history book and the closest fights with Mayweather, aside from like a Castillo or a fight with Zab Judah, have been his fights at 154. He had a split decision with De La Hoya and Miguel Cotto gave him a tough fight back in May of last year, Cinco de Mayo. So based on that, they see the potential in Canelo. They see how he rehydrates to 170 pounds, 172 pounds. They see his um, added head movement in his last fight. They see his strength. And that's why they're eager to put him in the mix with, with Floyd Mayweather at 154. And anything less will be pretty much blasphemous in, in, the, in the fans' eyes or some fans' eyes. So, like I said, I just don't deal with the double standards. Mayweather has to go up just because... Um, He's fought there twice. He has to go up to 154. To my knowledge, they stripped him of the 154-pound belt. Um, I do have to corroborate that. But I think he was forced to vacate that belt, the 154-pound. So right now, he doesn't have a belt um, at 154 from the Kodo fight or whatever. Um, so it's just it's crazy to me that Team Canelo, again, they have a huge fan base, but... They also have an ego to the point where they won't move up and down or budge, but they're the younger fighter. They have the younger fighter who's accomplished less, but everyone else has to move accordingly to them. Um, even with Sergio Martinez, if you look at Canelo versus Sergio Martinez, like Sergio Martinez has a resume. He's been established. He's older, yet the younger fighter gets to stay put, and these older fighters, Floyd Mayweather, or, or Sergio Martinez have to accommodate Canelo. I just think that's a little bit blasphemous and it doesn't really make sense to me. But either way, if Floyd does decide to face him at 154, I would love to see the fight, see what happens. 
and um, it'd be a good fight, good test for both fighters to see where they're truly at. Another last-minute hypocrisy that I've really heard is a lot of diehard Canelo fans are so happy and ecstatic that he defeated with open scoring and everything that he defeated Austin Trout, yet when the prediction video, you can probably look at my prediction video and see some of these comments, when the Austin Trout versus Canelo predictions were out, people were saying, Austin Trout, who has he fought? He hasn't fought nobody either. But you guys sure are um, bragging about Canelo's victory over Austin Trout. In my opinion, I think Canelo still needs to fight some legitimate 154-pounders. I've said it in the past. Austin Trout was a great first step for him. But I still think he needs to fight some people his size to see where he's really at. I would love to see... Uh, Guys that may not have a huge fan base, but they're legitimate competition at 154. Guys like Carlos Molina, or if Ishe Smith beats him, but I'm, I'm leaning more towards Molina beating Ishe Smith. But the winner of that fight, or if James Kirkland has a couple tuna fights and fights Canelo. I mean, 154 is a pretty legit stacked division, and there's a lot of strong uh, champions out there. But it's just funny that Team Canelo are making all these demands and they are asking to be accommodated and they've they've really resume wise and career wise they've done less than some of these other fighters so either way i would still like to see mayweather versus canelo hopefully weight doesn't do like the pacquiao mayweather situation to the point where we can't um, see it because they can't come to terms with um, something that works with both parties but we shall see that's my overall thoughts on the fight um I mean, that's all I can say. It's really going to depend on weight in the, in the actual contracts and negotiation. We know that Canelo and Trout was supposed to take place on the Mayweather-Guerrero undercard, and that fell out. So who knows if this fight will, will take place. Um, again, it's a good test for both fighters. Mayweather has the age. It's also not his, his best weight based on performance-wise. Um, he looks like he has a little bit more trouble making the weight like gaining pounds to to fight at 154 so we shall see let me know what you guys think um has canelo done enough to to make these demands let me know what you guys think as always hey comment or subscribe till next video it's ego signing off